know if you can see this bird. This bird is really close. Doesn't seem to be walking away from me. I'm just going to watch it for a while. Now it's going ahead. Hi, it's Trish and Knitting Lady. It's Sunday morning. I don't know if you can see those people out there. They look like they're uh, standing on something. A lot of waves today. It is supposed to rain later. I'm trying to get this bird. I don't know if you can see him. I tell you, you can get pretty close to these birds. Birds are all hanging out again. I'll stand their guard. Hi, it's Trish and Nitty Lady, take three. I was talking along and then I played it back and go, it's too long, it takes too long. You don't need to listen to me for 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't wanna put you all to sleep. So I have to, I figured I'd do this video then I'd go back to do my online courses I have to do. Extension season is upon us. <laughs> and the company I work for, and I'm not going to tell you which one it is, it's always changing things. So there's more courses, more things to learn. And of course, I'm always confused. What else is new? Um, I don't know how many of you watched Just Another Sitch with Connie, but on her Facebook show, show, Facebook group, I showed my towel. This is my bath towel. And it's a sampler towel. I use different kinds of stitches. In fact, I will lean over and get the book to show you in a minute. And this, with the rest of the yarn, I made a hand towel. And I put these out and use them because I've done it before. They make perfectly good bath towels, hand towels, and you know, kitchen towels, etc. My son wouldn't understand if he comes to visit, which he might do in December or January, that will all get put away and I'll use regular towels because he doesn't get it. He'll think, um, uh, I can't afford towels. I can just see him now. Mom, why are you doing this? You can't afford towels? I'll buy you towels. For all, for us, the rest of us who knit, crochet, and do whatever, we make all kinds of things. We perfectly understand. There's nothing wrong with it. And I have all this yarn. In fact, I was thinking of making a shower curtain. But uh, I don't know if I have enough yarn for that. I have to see. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to make a crochet top for myself. And I still haven't finished my knit top. Where does time go? I don't know. But this is the book I've used. And I have one of these for knitting stitches, too. It's called 365 Crochet Stitches a Year. It's a perpetual calendar. And every day is a different stitch. And um, so if you had time to make a square every day... You can make a square and put them all together, which I thought about doing. But, you know, trying to get the time to do that every day, too, is, is not always that easy. And I'm not the only one. I know that. You know, life is just busy. Busy, busy, busy. But um, I have, a, like I said, a knitting book like that, too. And now I haven't read from the Daily Book of Positive Quotations in a while. And today is the 19th, which is also the birthday of Jimmy Fallon. He was born in 1974. It would have been the birthday of Adam West. You remember he played um, Batman? He was born in 1928 and died in 2017. But today it's compliments in this quote from Mark Twain. I can live for two months in a good compliment. 
We might not think a casual compliment means all that much, but consider how we feel after someone tells us we've done a good job. We look good or they admire one of our many fine qualities. We hold our head a little higher, smile a little more broadly, step a little more brightly. When someone gives us a compliment, we tend to think better of them too. Clearly, they're smart and insightful. I enjoy it when someone gives me a compliment and why not? It prompts me to give compliments as well. Don't you feel good when you give somebody a compliment? I know I do. No. Um, there's, uh, when I go do karaoke at the Moose Club, it's done at the Eagles too. In fact, I went to the Eagles this morning, had breakfast. They have, they uh, have breakfast open to the public every Sunday morning. You can get a good sized breakfast for $6. Then I went to walk on the beach, and that's where I took the videos. But um, there's a couple that sings karaoke all the time, and they're they're a little timid about it sometimes. Well, I am too, really. But, um, you know, they wonder if they've done good enough. Well, I always compliment them. They went up and did a song together, which I thought was very nice. That once it's by... Uh, Oh, now I can't antebellum. Um, it's quarter to three. Something about had too much to drink and I need you now. I forget the name of the song, but it was nice. So did you know Eggo Waffles recalls something else in the beginning? Eggo Waffles are as old as me. I didn't know that. They were invented in San Jose, California. Um, by Frank Dorsa in 1953. And they were introduced as Froggles, Froffles, Froffles. Yeah, Froffles, F-R-O-F-F-L-E-S. He took the combination of words frozen and waffles, but because of the egg con content, customers started calling them Eggos. So the name was changed in 1955 to Eggos and Kellogg acquired Ego in 1970. So that's amazing. And what is the national animal of Scotland? It's the unicorn. It's not even an animal, but they it's the national animal of Scotland. Scottish unicorns are often depicted wrapped in golden chains, symbolizing the strength of Scottish kings. They're so powerful, they can tame a wild unicorn. And which fast food chain has started a subscription service? And that would be Taco Bell. They're, they're, it's a test pilot, a test, you know, and it's going from September 9th to November 24, and only, I think they said 19 states. What you can do is order one crunchy taco, soft taco, spicy potato, soft taco, or Dorito Locos taco per day for 30 days on the app. The price ranges $5 to $10 a month, which I think is pretty good because even if you, um, yeah, even if you order, how much do those tacos cost? What, dollar each? I'm not sure. I, I don't really go to Taco Bell. You would save quite a bit of money if you, if you want to eat tacos every day. I lived in Arizona for five years. I got used to homemade tacos. So I never understood why anybody would go to Taco Bell. But I, you know, each their own. We did have a Taco Bell there, though, in Tucson. And rem I remember when I saw her, I said, now who goes there? And I said, the out-of-towners who don't know. There was a one restaurant. It was run by this one family. And, oh, they had the best food. But they closed because the children wanted to keep up the, the uh, restaurant. You know, it was in the family for years. And that, oh, you could... You could eat so much for a limited amount of money, and it was really homemade and really good. Of course, I don't remember the name of the restaurant. 
Like, I don't remember anything. I remember where it was, though. But no, it closed, unfortunately. So that's about it. Um, I hope everybody's doing fine. I had to check the time, make sure this isn't too long. It's going to rain, I can see. Looking out my window. I had geography professor in college who taught us a lot what to look for. And people would say, oh, it's not going to rain. It's um, the weather forecast says it's not going to rain. I'll be looking at the sky going, it's going to rain. I usually was right. He told us certain things to look for. And it's going to rain. And it's going to rain hard, too. I can see by the wind. <laughs> Maybe I should be a weather forecaster. I'd make a lot more money, I'll tell you that. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.